What makes them mad about it? What makes them mad about it is that they had black people and white poor people and red poor people and Puerto Rican poor people and Latin American Puerto Rican people of uh, all poor people of all descent. They had them caught up in their movements based on racism when the Black Panther Party stood up and said that we don't care what anybody says. We don't think you fight fire with fire, bitch. We think you fight fire with water, bitch. We're going to fight racism, not with racism, but we're going to fight with solidarity. We said we're not going to fight capitalism with black capitalism, but we're going to fight it with socialism. We stood up and said we're not going to fight reactionary pigs and reactionary state attorneys like this and reactionary state attorneys like Hanrahan with any other reactions on our part. We're going to fight their reactions with all of us people to get together and have an international proletarian revolution. Right on. Right on. Right on. Right on. And that's saying all power to the people. Right on. That's saying that no matter what color you are, there's only two classes. And that's saying there's a class over here and there's a class over there. And the reason that this class over here has never did anything to get this class off its back because this is lower, this is upper, this is the oppressed, this is the oppressor, this is the exploited, this is the exploiter. And these people in this class have divided themselves. They say, I'm black and I hate white people. I'm white and I hate black people. I'm Latin American and I hate hillbillies. I'm hillbillies and I hate Indians. So we fight amongst each other. And you, you heard the testimony of pigs here. And you got pigs of all colors. You know that. You got pigs that are white, you got pigs that are black, you even got pigs that are black and white. Propagating the same type of madness that uh, uh, this buffoon Henry had would be propagating if he were here himself. And why? Because they want to keep you to believing that I'm your enemy and that everybody else that's black and that wears a lot of hair on his head and hair on his face, they want to keep you thinking that he's your enemy. Why? Because if ever you would disregard him and overlook him just for a minute and throw away that question of racism and start to dealing with a little logic, then it could be, there would be no one else you could attack other than Hanrahan, other than Daly, and other than Tricky Dicky Nixon. And if you make the right decision, then the press people of the world will get complete satisfaction. I know you return to get verdict of not guilty. Thank you.